Hello, let's make a graveyard. So first we need some gravestones, and for that I found the end of pop sticks to be the perfect size. I'm then mounting these onto some bases using modeling epoxy. By roughening up the surface of the epoxy, I'm trying to emulate a mound of dirt, sort of like what you might find on a fresh grave. We can't let our pop sticks go to waste, so with the remainder, I'm turning them into crosses. Then for a little bit more extra texture, I'm adding some gravel and sand to the base. Then I hit the sides with a bit of sand and that breaks up the edges a bit and gives the illusion of stone rather than wood. And when they're painted up, they look a bit like this. But what about some bigger and more intricate gravestones? Well, for that I've made a template, which you can find in the description. Assembly is pretty easy, all you gotta do is cut out the bit labelled cardboard onto cardboard and the bit labelled foam board onto foam board and glue them together. And they come out like this. Our graveyard needs a mausoleum. And what do you know, I made a template for that too. Just cut out the foam core bits and assemble them sort of like this. and then we can make the roof out of cardboard. The cardboard I'm using here is like cereal box cardboard. I designed a shingle pattern and I found the best way to cut them out was like this. Cut to the furthest shingle, then separate each shingle, and then cut each one to length. Then you can glue them onto the rectangles. I sort of just layered them however I wanted, but I guess I tried to expose about 5mm of the largest shingle. Do whatever, it should probably look fine. I then weighed them down with a big old book, while I waited for the glue to dry. And then I textured the foam board with sand and glued on the roof. To finish everything off, I took the roof cap piece, scored it with a knife, folded it in half, and glued it on the top. Now, to make the actual graveyard, I made a little template of how I imagined it in my head. I transferred that template onto some foam board by poking holes and scoring the surface with a knife. I then beveled the edges and then I was ready to make the walls. The walls are made out of XPF foam offcuts. But you could also use EVA foam like my walls and barricades tutorial. I'm going for an improvised wall effect, so I'm only doing two or three layers of little bricks. And all the bricks are different sizes for maximum effect. Now we can add the gravestones that we made earlier. For some statues, I'm using some old models that I had laying around. I added some leftover trees I had from my dead trees tutorial. Then I stuck on the mausoleum. And then I coated the base in sand, but I didn't put anywhere I thought the paths should go. After the glue had dried, I noticed the corners of the foam board had curled up just a little bit. So I added some PVA glue to the underside in an attempt to even out the bend. Once everything was 100% dry, I base coated everything black. Okay, so on to colour. First of all, notice the janky looking brush. I trim my brushes every time I forget to wash them out, and they work great for terrain. For colour on this piece, I'm using lots of earth tones. All the colours are military type colours, and I think they look great when blended together. Then I'm going in with some darker earth tones on the ground, and some black washes. I'm using a grey dry brush on the walls just to separate them from the ground a bit. Contrast is important in a piece like this. I'm going for a dark and gloomy look, but for things to look dark, you also need some light near them, so the darks look darker, if that makes sense. For the mausoleum roof and statues, I'm going for a copper colour with a nice patina. So I'm using a black wash and a light blue dry brush to matte the finish a bit. The trees and crosses then get painted a different set of browns, just to make them stand out a bit from the base. The graveyard was bringing me down a bit, so I added some bright green moss colour, just to make everything pop. Then I laid down a variety of flocks. The dead static grass really brought everything together, and the red flowery flock brought a little bit more life into an otherwise dead graveyard. And hey, that's about it, so get out of here and make your own.
Hello, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, let me know. Uh, if you want to see more, let me know. Um, if you want to support the channel, best way is to donate for the templates. Um, they pay what you want, so obviously you don't have to, but donations go a long way. So if you want to, you can. Um, other than that, sharing the video is great because it means that I don't have to. It's really awkward when I do it. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, Leave a comment what you want to see next. Last couple of builds have come from suggestions, so I might do it. And your ideas have been great so far, so yeah. Alright. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Alright. See you when I see you. Actually, no. I'll see you next fortnight. What am I saying? See you next fortnight. Okay.